remember the day when I was sitting in a park in Ashfield in Sydney and I'd just finished reading a book about a priest. It was a, a really a, a novel about a priest in China doing wonderful, uh, exciting ministry. And all of a sudden it struck me, I'm meant to be a priest. A and I thought, that's amazing. I should consult God about that. I didn't really know the Lord very personally, but I knew that's what he wanted me to do. So I went down to the local church in Ashfield and I thought, how do I consult God? So I went up to where uh, the statue of Our Lady was and I lit up all the candles I could find. I didn't pay for them. Someone said I paid for them later, but like, I didn't pay for them. And, but I prayed there and I, and I sensed that I'll stay here all afternoon and at the end of that time, I'll know. And so by the time I walked out of that church, when the candles were down, uh, I knew that's what I wanted to do. So the next day I immediately hitchhiked to Canberra, where you hitchhiked in those days, you're not supposed to do that these days. Uh, and um, and I, I spoke with a priest who used to be a friend of our family. And, and I, I said to him, I, I've got to be a priest. He said, aren't you doing a university degree? I said, yes, I am. I've, do, I've finished two years of a science degree. He said, why don't you finish your science degree? I said, no, if I don't go now, I'll never go. So he asked me a few more questions and he, he rang the bishop. And the bishop said, bring him over straight away. So now, that same day, I'm standing before the bishop. And the bishop said to me, he said, why do you want to be a priest? I hadn't thought about that. I just knew I had to be a priest. And, and, and so uh, I, I blurted out, I, I want to serve God and serve my fellow man. He said, that's good enough for me. How soon will it take you to get to the seminary? Because the seminary had already gone back uh, and they'd been back a week. And I said, well, it'll take me a week. I'll have to tell my family and other people, etc., And I'll have to get rid of my scholarship that I had. I wouldn't get it back, but I was so sure that's what I was meant to do. Uh, and so he said, okay. And so he rang the seminary. He said, I've got another, another one coming. He'll be there in a week. And then he said to me, um, do you have a satan? I didn't know what a satan was. Uh, it's one of those cassock things, you know, the long cassocks. Uh, and uh, he said, oh, you're the same si size as Father Barry Cotter, his secretary was standing there, take his. So I walked out with his satan and I was ready to go. Uh, I went home to tell my parents. Well, my father was not a Catholic uh, and I thought, well, I have to tackle him first. They didn't know why I was home because I should have been back at Sydney beginning the university for the, the third year. Uh, and. So I tackled him, he was sitting out on the box outside and he was looking at the stars. Uh, he wasn't a Catholic, he wasn't a practicing anything really. We called him a Calathumpian. But um, anyway, there he was uh, and I could see cigarette in the dark. And I said, Dad, I've got something to tell you. What's that, son? I've decided to become a priest. And he said, oh, and he let out an expletive, which I can't say here. Uh, and <laughs> so I sort of left him went in to tell my mom. I said, Mom, I've decided to become a priest. And she burst into tears, good Catholic mother, I'm losing my son, all that sort of thing. And after a while, Dad had thought about it and he came back in. And he said, Son, if you're going to be a priest, be a bloody good one. Because I've seen a few bad ones in my time. Be like Father O'Connor, who was the old parish priest. He used to go to the shop and buy uh, fish from him at the shop. So that's how it happened. And so within a, a week, I was in, in the seminary and I never looked back. I just had that sense of calling upon me. I had to come to know the Lord a lot more. I, had, I didn't have much of a relationship with the Lord at the beginning, but I went deeper into that relationship with him, falling in love with him more and more as I went through until I was uh, finally ordained uh, seven years later. So that's my story, very brief, but uh, uh, I did fall in love with the Lord and uh, as a priest then, I, I went even further in love with the Lord, uh, discovering him in a marvelous way through the experience of the Holy Spirit after a number of years of priesthood. But that's another story for another time.